Hey, hey, Minji Community, Jeff back again. Time for a couple more CDs. I actually uh, got these in recently and um, been holding off on showing them. I don't know why I kept forgetting. Uh, but anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and get these taken care of. Because I find them, I've been giving them a listen for a while. And I, you know, find them pretty interesting. And, and then I realized the kind of significance of, well, interesting significance of when I bought them together, how there's a connection, which was uh, not intentional but um so yeah these are from another you know another dealer on that i buy from buy a lot of the stuff from uh, online on facebook or whatever so he pops up and says just got these in i'm like hey set one aside and so um, i saw this one pop up <clears throat> initially i had no clue what it was but uh it was he said something about this is going to be you know going fast and uh only 200 copies of these and i'm like so <laughs> but for some reason I looked a little closer and then I realized what it was and I'm thinking well yeah I'd like to check that out band called Excursion I don't know do you know anything about this Excursion uh, they had two releases back in the day and both of them were on here it's a, a basically an album and an EP if you look at that guy right there in the front center that's Mark Slaughter I did not you know initially realize that <clears throat> So, um, Mark Slaughter's early band from his area, um, what's it, California or Vegas area, I think is where these were from, um, California, recorded in California, but I think it was a Vegas band, but anyway, uh, 84, 83, uh, EP and 84 album, the EP is pictured, uh, inside too, and so, it's a combo pack, and so, yeah, they put out some stuff. This is pre-Slaughter. It's pre-Mark Slaughter's appearance on the scene in the sense of how we got to know him. Um, I've listened to this a couple of times, and i got to say, I mean, it's just average. Um, if I were to hear this, you know, I probably wouldn't have given two thoughts about it, wouldn't have signed him, probably wouldn't have. Mark doesn't sound like himself, you know. He sounds good, but it's just there's nothing really here to wow anybody i probably wouldn't listen to this and say hey he's a great singer let's sign him up um so he obviously changed styles a bit when he moved on to do other stuff but here it is the beginning days of it and you know it's kind of neat to have this uh you know it's an archive of both of their products so um it's on loudworks which i don't know i'm seeing online some people say it's an unofficial label some people says it isn't um i'm seeing that these things are only to be marketed in uh, overseas in their country so it's one of those things where they're you know maybe they've got the rights in their country maybe there's a copyright issue where they can do it in the country i don't know whether it's official unofficial but um this album has been on cd before it was reissued by some company uh i think back in the like 90s I know it was a long time ago maybe it was 2000s so this is really one of the newer, only recent reissues of this. And again, only 200 copies. So if you can grab a copy, if you're interested in that archival footage of Mark Slaughter, then you might want to grab one of those before they're gone. Um, but I wasn't too impressed. But it's funny because we, you know, Mark's in this band. And then the first time that I think we really heard him in the real world was with Vinnie Vincent, Invasion. That was the other CD I bought. There's no Mark on this one, though. This is not uh, any of that. It's just funny. I thought after I bought him that there's a connection there. This particular release, again on Loudworks, it's a double disc set. Again, it's kind of like, I don't want to say an anthology because it's not the, the other Vin events and stuff. Um, it's the two uh, Guitars from Hell and the, um, it's named Euphoria. It's got the Euphoria EP on here and then it's got the Guitar from Hell recordings and then it's got some other demos and things along that line. So, um, interesting. I, I had seen things about Euphoria. I knew there was an EP out there. I've seen signed copies of it, I think. Um, I think it was only, I don't know. I've seen some of the stuff, but have never heard it. So this was really cool to have. And um, I think it sounds great. I think this is some, he did some great stuff after the Vinnie Vincent Invasion stuff kind of dissipated. Um, so yeah, I, this is a solid, you know, solid release. The second disc has got um, some demos with Jeff Scott Soto on vocals and with uh, another guy, Gorman. Um, that Those actually seem to pre... Be, I seem, seem like when I recall, those were earlier. Yeah. Um, the Guitar from Hell, 80, 89 to 90. And then the uh, Jeff Scott Soto audition tapes from 1987. So those were early on. And then the uh, Goran er Edmund 
audition tapes are 1985. So that would have been, that's pre Vinnie Vincent stuff, right? That's right around the time he was doing that. So um, the, the singer on the other stuff is uh, da, 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 Robert Fleischman. So they sound really good. Actually, it sounds a lot like Mark Slaughter at times. I'm like, anyway, solid album, solid release. Nice to have all that stuff on two discs. Official, unofficial, I don't know. But great stuff. And okay, and then the third CD that came in, totally a different thing, not related to that at all, is the new Battle Cry, um, first time on CD. This is a, a Christian band. I have the vinyl over there. The vinyl that came out, it was an EP, uh, and back in the day, and it was just, you know, kind of uh, commercial, keyboard-oriented, not pop, but, you know, it had some great edgy guitar, but it was a, a little bit on the, you know, upbeat side of stuff but we loved it back in the day and it came out on vinyl and it came out on cassette and the cassette had a second side that had a bootleg live stuff which was not on the vinyl so i never actually have heard that stuff i never had this cassette back in the day and it's never been released on cd so thanks to rocks records this just dropped a couple weeks ago and it has the entire album ep on one side which is six songs and then it has the four live tracks and it has uh seven demo type tracks also so it's basically everything from the archive and then and so i was excited to get this came with the cool little sticker um all packaged up really well and again first time officially on cd great stuff uh if you're interested in this band make sure you go on youtube look up area 312 they did an interview with two of the members from this prior to right right around the time this was about to drop and i learned a lot i learned a lot about the band that i had no idea about back in the day uh, great stuff and of course I knew I was going to get this anyway but it just gave me that much more in excitement to get it when I heard a lot of the stories about their payday back in the day so there you go three cool CDs have come in recently and uh, if you're interested in that check it out and I'll see you later rock on and rock hard